Now we create a rectangle. And we're going to go 16 inches wide and 2 inches tall. Now we're going to grab the select tool and we're going to move our rectangle into the document. Then we're going to select the text tool. Like right there. Go ahead and type our text. Grab the select tool, move it in. Going to select all the text and come over here to our menu bar where we get to change properties. Text. Good. Back and grab solid arrow tool. Prop text onto the line. Now we're going to outline the text. With our text selected, to outline our text, we're going to hold down Control and Shift and the letter O. You can tell it happened by the way that now there's a light outline of a blue line around all the letters. Now we're going to hit control Y and it takes away all the fill and we can see that our letters have been outlined. Now we're going to the window. We're going to select Pathfinder. And in the Pathfinder selection box, we want this first one that says Unite. We click Unite. With all of our object selected, when we click the Unite button, it does automatic trimming for us. Now we could hit Control Y again and see that everything that is black is going to be cut out. At this point, we want to save it. going to call it NBT for nuts, bolts, and thingamajigs. You guys will call it by your last name or whatever you wrote. And then I'm going to put today's date, 7-21-22. Click Save. After it's saved, now we want to export as DXF file. That is right here on the very top one. It says Autodesk Real Drawing DXF. And we're going to use the same name. And you will then take the DXF file and save it into Canvas.